Some people think that the biggest threat to humanity is climate change. Some people think maybe it's the threat of nuclear war. Some people think that it is, I don't know, electromagnetic pollution from all the new satellites that are going up. I mean, there's many, many things to identify as the cause or the, or the biggest threat. But something in me understands that if we continue to lock people up and to, as Fritzi said, to annihilate them, the most vulnerable people, the most harmed people, if we continue to do that, then there is no hope either for the most vulnerable places on earth, the most vulnerable parts of ourselves. There's, there's nothing is going to change if we keep doing that. I just assumed um, from watching movies and, and, and you know, consuming media that criminals were of a lower sort, like a lesser stuff, like a lower grade of humanity. But when I went in there to this jail in rural Idaho to serve my two day sentence, these were full human beings. They were curious about, about me and my friend, you know, they were, they were friendly. They were, I mean, they had full personalities. They're like showing me pictures of their kids, you know, telling us their stories, you know, how they ended up, you know, committing armed robbery, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, yeah, you know, if I were in your circumstances, that could easily be me. I could have been there. And the reason that I am here and going back to Yale University in a couple days and that you are going to prison after jail uh, is by the grace of God. I am no better and no worse than you are. We ask, what is compassion? That's what it is to me. It's the recognition of something fundamental in our humanity uh, that unites us. And, and for me, it's the understanding that if I were in the totality of your conditions, I might do very much as you have done. And it's the antidote to the kind of judgment that is almost second nature to people who have grown up in modern society. Well, you made bad choices. But if the reason that you committed that violent act is because um, of a trauma, a PTSD response, and your amygdala took over, like, actually, it's not true that you made a bad choice in that moment. So the whole paradigm of punishment and deterrence that rests upon that belief, it reveals it as futile and destructive and a recipe for endless war, endless war against those that we have cast into the realm of, of bad people, of bad guys, of enemies. Uh, and, and so this whole solution is never going to change our society. In fact, it perpetuates the way that things are right now, producing an endless crop of new enemies.